So I started working with the public cloud 10 years ago. What I love about this sector is how fast it moves. My job isn't one thing. What it looks like today and what it looks like next year are gonna be dramatically different. I'm Ray Jean Skillern. I'm Vice President and General Manager of the Cloud Service Provider Platform Group. There is an explosion of data occurring all around us. In the future, in 2020, it's estimated there will be over 50 billion devices in the market and 200 billion sensors collecting data, and that's gonna just change the way the world works. Whether that's smart industrial or healthcare or sensors on wind turbines, all of that is going to be driving zettabytes of data that needs to be collected, stored, and transacted upon and the big guys are gonna to continue to get bigger, and the smaller players, we see them around the world growing just as fast or sometimes faster because they're finding unique ways to differentiate. Maybe they build out more vertically integrated services for healthcare, retail, or industrial. You have to have a cost-efficient infrastructure, but that can't be enough. And those that don't have maybe the largest scale, who can't just do it on economies of scale, they have to put in unique differentiation into their architecture as well. So to compete in this high growth, highly competitive environment, you can't set out a six month, 12 month, two year plan that says this is how I'm gonna grow fast and adapt. You have to inherently design in flexibility, modularity, and the ability to make late binding decisions. We partner to create that optimal platform for the cloud service providers, and that really separates us from the rest in the industry. We try to create relationships that are based on co-innovation and co-development. And to do that, you have to solve problems where they're solving problems. What they're finding out is that, well, they need to have enough CPUs in their data center to address the peaks. We have 100,000 people at Intel, so we figure out the right people to pull into each of these different problems. And then once we figure out a fix, we work with them to make sure we deploy it in a smooth manner. We have the ability to create completely custom silicon for our providers. We can take our standard product and tweak it. We can create a semi-custom where it's part their IP and part ours. And then we have a hardware and software engineering team. We call them the ninjas because they can go around the world and drop in. I mean, if you look at a cloud platform, we cannot look just at the compute. We have to look at everything as a whole. And that's why we try to understand the workload at a really deep level across the data center, figuring out uh, how to support those workloads in the future for our customers. I try to find people that when they look at a situation that's volatile, do they look at it and say, that's chaotic? Or do they look at it and say, wow, that's dynamic? The collaborations I love the most when we break outside the box, outside the server, outside the data center. We partnered with Tencent to put devices and sensors that actually is based on our Intel Movidius to drive smart cities. And it can optimize the amount of energy that's created and consumed. It can optimize how to store that data. If you can get smarter about how we build out energy, store it, and consume it, we can not only save a lot of money, but we can save a lot of precious resources in our world. I know that as a company, we're not just gonna be in every data center, we're gonna be in every home, we're gonna be in multiple devices, we're gonna be making the world smarter. I'm not a lather, rinse, repeat kind of person. I like to do something new and different, and the cloud has been the perfect platform and perfect role for me to do that in.